Hello everyone, Racetime911 here, and today in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create custom rigid bodies for your Farming Simulator mod. So this tutorial is aimed at Farming Simulator 2017, but can probably also be applied to older versions of Farming Simulator as well. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to be doing it for Farming Simulator 2017 and using this Chevrolet Blazer as an example. So, it's a rather useful scale for getting proper collisions to be able to create custom rigid bodies. So, how you do it is you're going to need a few things. One, you're going to need Giants Adder 7.0.0 or higher for modding for Farming Simulator 2017. And you're also going to need Blender 2.7.3 or higher, which is what I've got. But you can probably get higher than that if you want to, but I'm going to be using 2.7.3. Now, you're going to need at least a basic understanding of how to use Giants Adder and also of how to use Blender. So, if you don't know how to use Blender, that's okay, because I'll be going pretty slowly and trying to show to the best of my ability what I'm pressing and what I'm doing and how to do things in Blender. But if you're still confused, there's also a, t a course on Udemy that's Blender Basics in under two hours. I'll link that in the description so you can check that out as well, totally free. And I did, and it helped me out a lot. So if you want to check that out, link to that's in the description, as well as link to Blender and Giants Adder. And a little note, Giants Adder, when you go to GDN, Giants Developer Network, you need to create an account to get the adder it's in the download section so that's how you'll get it and that's the most secure way I know so if you have all these things and you think you have enough understanding or even if you don't you can just listen along and I'll try and guide you through it the best I can so let's get started okay one more thing I neglected to mention when you're logged in to Giants Developer Network Another thing you're going to want to download is Blender Explorer Plugins version 7.0.0. This will allow you to export i3D files from Blender so that you can get your rigid body into your Giants Air. So you're going to want to go ahead and download that and install it. And I'm going to show you how to enable it real quick here as well. So once it's done downloading, you just click on it. And it'll open up, and you say yes, install. And it's, like it says here, you can enable the plugin. And I'll show you just how to do that real quick. So we open Blender, and we go to User Preferences, Add ons. And scroll down, you should see Game Engine Giants i3D Export Tools. You're just going to want to make sure that there's a little check mark there. And that way, you'll be able to go File, Export, Giants i3D. Okay, so now we're finally ready to get started. Okay, so getting started now, what you're going to want to do is open the i3D file of your mod, or of your model, whichever you have. I have a mod, so I'll just go into the mod. Now, you're just going to want to go and Go find out which is in here in the Scenograph, window Scenograph if you don't have it, which is the model. So here we can see that when we select this in the Scenograph, it selects the model. So that's the model. We're going to want to export to OBJ because if we don't have it in OBJ, we can't import it into Blender. So now we have it selected. What we're going to want to do is export to OBJ. But before we do that, we're going to want to go to File, Preferences, and just make sure that in here, where it says Save and Export as Wavefront OBJ, we change the scale to 1. Otherwise, when export, it'll make the model huge and it'll be impossible to work with. So press OK. And now you're going to go File, Export Selection with Files. 
and then you're just going to export it as a wavefront OBJ. And I'll just name it Blazor GE. And I'll save it. And just press no to this. And now you'll have your .obj or 3D model so you can work with it in Blender to create your rigid body. So let's now go to Blender and see about making that rigid body and importing this model. So now that you've opened Blender, you're going to want to go and import the model you just exported from Giant Editor. So we're going to go File, Import, Wavefront.obj, then remember Blazor GE.obj, and we save that in our in the folder of the mod we were working on. And now we're going to go import obj, and now you'll see the generic model of the vehicle or whatever it is in Blender. Now here's a quick little tutorial for you of how to move around in Blender. To rotate the camera, just hold down your scroll wheel on your mouse, the middle button you could call it, and then just move your mouse right or left and then you can rotate around. And if you want to zoom in or out, just scroll the scroll wheel and you can do that. And this should be enough for what you need to do here. So now we're going to go into edit mode and we're going to make just a very basic box model just covering our blazer so that we can have a rigid proper collision. So you can just select with the right mouse button, press the right mouse button and on any face and you can select it. And then you can just drag the arrows to move it. And we're just going to want to have it to about the bottom of the vehicle, not to where the wheels would be because then the rigid body would scrape across the ground and it wouldn't work very well. So we just want it to cover down to about here. Okay, so now that you've got that, you can actually press E to extrude and then just bring it forward. And basically, all we're trying to do is just cover the model with a boxy shape. Oh, yeah. So you're going to want to select edge select in order to select edges. So like that. And before we were in face select down here. And that enables us to select the whole face. So we go edge select and we can bring this down here. And now we're going to go back to face select and extrude again. That gives us a shape generally like the blazer. Now what we're going to want to do is just pull this out here with face mode on again and then extrude, press E, pull it back, then we're going to go into edge select, and move it down, and there we go, we have a very basic box model that is shaped quite a bit like our Chevrolet. So now we're going to actually delete the Chevrolet, so now just press A twice, and now select everything, then just shift and right click in here on the cube. No, wait, just. Okay. Okay, shift and left click. That's what it is. Okay, now press delete. And now delete everything but the cube. Now, before we export it, go over here in the tools, transform, and edit area. Geometry, no, origin to geometry. Like that, so we center the origin, that'll make it position better once in the other. So there we go, we have our rigid body all set up and good to go. So now we can export. And you do that, file, export, John Side 3D, then navigate to where you want to save it. So I want to save it in my Blazor model folder, so I'm just going to put it in here and put this collision G. 
just for now and then go export i3d and then when we go here we should be able to see this collision as an i3d file in the blazer model folder so now we're going to look at how to put the rigid body into our giant sander for the mod and actually get it set up so it works in game so let's go do that now just a little generic note here before we move on just realize another thing you should do when you're working with these rigid bodies is save them or save a copy save it so that you have the project so you can come back and edit it if, if you need to to like reorient it or reshape it really easily just save a blender file of your rigid body to work with later if you need to now moving on so now going back to our i3d file and now we're in the mod again so let's go view camera last camera and that's just so I don't mess up the outdoor cam. Now, what we're going to want to do is go and import that collision by we just made. So file, import, and we called it this collision. So let's import it. And then we'll see our box in the editor. Now what we're going to want to do is go to the old collision and just shift click all these and paste them into the new collision and it should fit relatively well. If it does not, like I said, you can go back to Blender and just move the cube up or down in order to reorient it and then just re-export until it's positioned fine. But this looks good enough for now so I'll just leave it. So now we have it in here. Now we have our collision body so I'll move it up to zero, 00 because generally when you have a vehicle mod you want the collision by for that vehicle mod to be at zero, 00. So let's do that. Delete the old collision body so it doesn't interfere. Or wait, actually, no, let's leave it there for a second. So now what we're going to need to do is with this new rigid body we're going to change a few things now in the attributes panel. So if you don't have the attributes panel, window attributes and now in the rigid body section, we're going to change the rigid body type to dynamic, compound, click that checkbox, make sure that's checked. And we're going to ha want to have the collision mask set to 202042, so make sure it's set to that. And also for the mass, if you want a different mass, say you think 8000 is too heavy, well you can just turn, no wait leave that at 4. You can turn down the density to let's say 0 0.7 and if you want that to update you can go into shape recompute BV then go back and you'll see your mass has changed. So that'll make it heavier or lighter. And now also in the shape section you're going to want to put non-renderable so that you don't see that big ugly box when you're using your mod in game. And there you go, you've pretty much got your rigid body all set up. Now you can delete the old one. Or if you didn't have one in the first place, then you don't need to. Okay, so that's generally how to do it. Now you just go File, Save, and your rigid body is all in place. And now we're going to go give it a test in game and see how that worked out. So now here we are in game uh, with the mod. It's a little glitchy at the moment since it's a work in progress, but the rigid body, if we press F5 with the dev console on, which if you don't have that, I have another video which you can check out in the description of how to enable dev console. Anyways, when you press F5 with dev console on, you can see your rigid bodies, where they are, how they're working, how they fit to the vehicle in game. And as we can see, the rigid body fits pretty nicely to this vehicle. A lot better than the old rigid body, which was just a simple box. So, it still needs some alterations in driving behavior and the like, but the rigid body generally 
fits pretty nicely and it works. So yeah, that's just a beginner's tutorial on how to add a rigid body, a custom one, to a farming simulator mod. So hopefully this tutorial has helped you. I know it's a little bit long, but uh, I wanted to make it as clear and understandable as possible. So I do hope it has helped you, and I thank you very much for watching. This is Rice Time 911, and I'll see you later. Bye.